This tiny baby is a fighter. She was put into a bag and abandoned, but after being rescued, look at how well she's doing. Nobody ever has to do this to a newborn child. Tina Terry dug into North Carolina's safe surrender law, and Tina, you learned this sad case could lead to a lot of education, though, about the law. Well, yeah, advocates for women and children want parents to know that they can safely surrender children to a police officer at departments like this without putting them in harm's way. She's a miracle baby. This video shows a Georgia officer rescuing this newborn baby girl after she was abandoned in a plastic grocery bag in a wooded area. Officials named the baby India, but still haven't found her mother. She is probably um, somebody who is young or in you know some some fearful situation of someone finding out that she's pregnant. Sarah Shepherd says she was once 18, pregnant and afraid, and she could have found herself in the same shoes as baby India's mom. My fear was having to disappoint my family or not being able to go to college or not being able to raise a, a child. I remember thoughts that were going through my head then. She helps run two women's centers designed to eliminate fear by educating pregnant women of all of their choices. After saying this, she wants to make sure every woman knows about the North Carolina safe surrender law. The law says parents can surrender babies under seven days of age to on-duty professionals, including a health care provider, a law enforcement officer, a social services worker, or a certified emergency medical service worker. Babies have to be handed over to these individuals and cannot be abandoned outside a building. They need to know what the law is and that it's okay so that they don't have to abandon them in a bag in the woods, that there's places they can take them. Yeah, and we asked the state how many parents have taken advantage of this surrender law over the past three years. We're still waiting to get numbers from them. By the way, Georgia has a similar law. Back to you. Tina, it really is incredible. Dozens of people have come forward offering to adopt Baby India. Yeah, they have. And today I talked to local advocates for children. They say that is a good thing, but they are hoping that this case draws attention to more than 11,000 children who are in the foster care system in North Carolina right now. And some of those children need care, love, foster parents and adoptive parents as well. Back to you. So many children looking for a permanent home. Tina, thanks.